Comparing the Honeywell Ultra Key Touch to Max Pro VMS. Let's start by configuring the joystick. Hold the Alt and Clear buttons on the right side of the Ultra Key Touch and press the Home key as seen here. This will display the login box. The admin account password is 3434 by default. This will bring you to the main menu where you'll want to confirm that this box here is set to Max Pro mode. Then click the Hardware Config button. Set a keyboard address for your joystick. By default it's 2 and we will leave it there for our demonstration. Next, press Port Settings to configure the network properties. Click on Ethernet. Set an IP address for your joystick along with the subnet mask and gateway within the scheme of your VMS server's network properties in the top three boxes. The fourth box, System Control IP, is the IP address of your VMS server. Once this is configured, press Save then quit. On the main menu page, commit the settings by pressing the save button here. Press yes to flash, then quit out of the menus. Now we will configure our VMS server to be able to talk to the joystick and accept commands. To do that, click on the configurator tab, then video outputs. Press the add button to configure a new monitor, give it a name, Select your site if configured, then select the workstation, which should be your VMS server in this case, and give it a monitor number and press save. Next, we will tell VMS some information about our joystick. Click on the joystick controller submenu option and locate the address that you set in the joystick earlier. In our case, it was 2, and double click it. Under the default monitor, select the monitor we just created, Select the default operator for this pairing, which in our case is the same user I'm logged in as now, administrator, and click save. Once these settings are saved, we need to restart the Trinity controller to get it to function. The easiest way to do that is to find the controller submenu in the configurator tab, double click the Trinity controller, then press the cold boot button. Select yes to proceed with the restart. Then close the window and exit the VMS client software and relaunch it from the desktop. Once it's loaded, you'll want to confirm here in the bottom status bar that you see the name of the monitor we set up earlier along with the monitor number we assigned it. Reboot the joystick by power cycling, and you should see the monitor name and camera name appear once it connects. Once your joystick connects, you should be able to control the PTZ functions, pull up cameras, etc. using the keypad options to the right of your keyboard. For more great tips and interactive training, visit HoneywellDiscoverTraining.com. And thank you for choosing Honeywell.